guys, Remy here and today I just wanted to talk about my Childish Gambino records. Um, I've been a fan of Childish Gambino, Donald Glover since 2018. Um, I first heard of him around 2012 because my brother used to listen to him and he also used to watch Community. So he told me a little bit about him and then in 2018 I started watching Community properly so at the same time I was enjoying Community which is like my favourite show ever probably and um, getting into Donald Glover's music at the same time and um, this year, the past couple of weeks, I've started watching Community again and listening to his music again and I've bought more of his stuff. So I just kind of wanted to show what records I do have, particularly as it's kind of hard to buy his stuff that's not Awaken My Love. Yeah, his um his music catalogue on vinyl is quite hard to come by. Um, so first things first, I want to show you guys his official debut album. I know he had mixtapes before this. Camp. Um, when I hear tracks like Heartbeat and Firefly, they just really, really take me back to 2010. Like, I hadn't heard these songs at the time, but they immediately have like the kind of instrumentation and vibe that I was hearing a lot um, when I was growing up, when I was 10. And this is definitely stuff that my brother used to listen to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've heard I heard Heartbeat like back then without realizing who it was. But yeah, my favorite track is probably I don't know, it's possibly either Bonfire or Firefly. Um but my other favorite tracks, like other songs I really like are Heartbeat, Kids, um Not Going Back, Sunrise. Um but yeah, and it's a really cool album because especially at the end of I think it's that power um, where he just has like a monologue about talking about the end of camp and it's just it's just it's like a really nice story like a wrapping of story um, and also I'm really happy that this version of the album has bonus tracks so it's got a side D with tracks like not going back freaks and geeks my shine not going back and longest text message are on here as well which is nice um, I was annoyed because I ordered this off Amazon and normally Amazon are really really good when it comes to delivering packages and everything and it's not like I bought it from a third party I bought it directly from Amazon it was handed to me by the delivery driver like this except with cellophane like there was no cardboard packaging or anything it was just handed to me so it's a little bit damaged and the record itself like was a little bit scuffed but it plays fine so i was a bit annoyed about the quality i received it in but it sounds okay so it's all right but yeah i'm really happy i have camp now i have been trying to add more genre into my record collection because my record collection is mostly classic rock so i'm trying to add a bit more like hip-hop and stuff so yeah it finally came so this is because the internet by childish gambino um i think he released the album first in 2013 but then he did like a limited vinyl release in 2014 and it's so annoying because I've seen this available, like really available, like a couple of months ago. But then when I'm about to buy it, it then becomes really scarce to find and very expensive. This is the most expensive album in my collection now because it's just, I don't know if they've stopped really like pressing it or something, but it's really hard to get your hands on if you can, if you, can't really afford stuff like that but um so cool because um it comes with a 72 page screenplay now i think i've heard about the screenplay but i've never really seen it or like looked at it so yeah let's open this up this bad boy this is the screenplay all right charge can be no oh, it smells amazing <laughs> Do, do, do you ever like just love the smell of like books or like paper or am I just weird? Um, 
But yeah, it's got like the track list here and then screenplay starts. Oh my god, of course like one of the first pages I look at is mentioning Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at this a bit later. So it's been a while since I first got Because of the Internet, but I can honestly say it's become probably my favourite Gambino album, which is weird considering when I first listened to it, I thought, oh, this is, the music is a little bit weird for me. I might not instantly like it straight away apart from a few various songs. But now I've really, really like fallen in love with it and I've read the screenplay and it was a weird screenplay but definitely entertaining and it definitely makes me appreciate the songs more and it makes me appreciate Camp more because the, the boy from Camp is the boy and because the internet which makes that power from Camp even sadder <laughs> but I love that power, it's such a great song from Camp but yeah, with Because the Internet, Shadows is probably my favourite song. I love Pink Toes. Um, Earn has really grown on me. I like, um, obviously I like Sweatpants in 2005. But um, yeah, the whole album has really grown on me. And as a, as a whole, I'd say it's my favourite album from Childish. Um, but anyway, now I have finally got in Stone Mountain and Kauai. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing Kauai right. Kauai. But yeah, so this is um, a mixtape and an EP. Um, I got this from Ear Candy Music um, website. And yeah, so it's a combination of his um, Stone Mountain mixtape and his EP for Kauai. Um, honestly, I didn't really like Stone Mountain. It's just really not the type of music I enjoy, but obviously the concept was is that he wanted to make a um, Gangster Grills mixtape. So that's the whole point of it. It just wasn't something I really enjoyed, but the EP for Kauai, I loved. Um, obviously I, I was already a fan of Sober and Pop Thieves and the Beach Picnic version of 3005 but I really really enjoyed listening to the Palisades and I'm definitely going to listen to the EP again because I think, I think I could possibly like all of it um, but yeah I definitely need to listen to it again um, but yeah I'm just I'm really happy I've got this because this took me a long time to get and it took a long time to get here I finally got it and I'm really really happy. The other album I have is Awaken My Love. I've had this since 2018. I got it for my 19th birthday and it is a really good album. It's definitely I'd say Childish Gambino's most popular album. Um, it's a very different feel, very funk. Um, I'd say my favourite tracks, my favourite track is Stand Tall. Um, I also like Redbone and then Boogeyman and Raya are really growing on me. I don't listen to this kind of music a lot, but it's 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 nice for that occasional like late night lesson, you know. These I'm really happy about because I've got them recently and they're not easy to like they're they're easy to get, but like only if you know if they exist. So I've got seven inch singles to This Is America and then I've got the summer pack which has summertime magic and feels like summer so i got these from a website called ear candy biz um an american website and these are te these aren't official like you would not get find these like on amazon or um in a like in hmv or like anything like that these are purely like I don't even know who made these but an unofficial record label has made these these are available on discogs I've seen some on eBay but they've been like really overpriced I got these from ear candy biz and they were amazing like these were really reasonable the only reason why these were expensive was because of like shipping but that is it honestly 
and they sound great. Uh, side B to This Is America is a really nice instrumental. Side A is Summertime Magic, Side B is Feels Like Summer, and I'm really happy because these are some great tracks, and I was really bummed that This Is America was not on Childish Gambino's new album. Feels Like Summer is, but yeah, I was just, I'm just really happy that I've got these now. I also really want 3, 15, 20 on vinyl, somehow. Please. That'd be really, really great because I love time and I love, um, what's it? 47, 48. I can't remember the other number tracks I like, but I like them too. I wish Atta Vista was on 3, 15, 20 because when he um, performed some of the songs from that album live, when I saw him, he performed Atta Vista, that was like the opening song, and then he went into Algorithm. So I really, really wish that Atta Vista was on the album, but also I just wish the album was available on vinyl. So if I was to rank my um, collection of Childish Gambino vinyl, I would say it's probably Because the Internet, then Kawaii, then this is America and Summer Pack on the same level. Then Camp, then Awaken My Love, and then The Stone Mountain mixtape. So yeah, I love all of it except for Stone Mountain. I just really wasn't a fan. But apart from that, I love all my other albums in this collection and singles. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye.